Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World. I'm here with Steve Sheard from On Semiconductor. And behind us, we have a little demo of a fan being driven by some On Semiconductor chips. So, Steve, tell us a little bit about uh, what goes on here. So, what we have here is we have a, uh, an automotive fan and we have a driver board on the side of it um, that has an IC on it called the LV8907. Um, what's unique about this motor driver is it's also a controller. Most uh, motor drivers are either the driver devices, in other words, it's designed to just drive the MOSFETs or it has internal drivers to drive the motor. But what we've done is we've put a state machine on here so it has some intelligence itself. So you can set registers and it will follow those registers and drive by itself. So what, so what we've attached here is we've attached a simple touch board that changes the PWM input into the motor so that you can get it to drive faster or slower by changing the PWM input. But if you were to switch off this board completely, um, the motor will still run based on the registers that are internal to the device. So, you know, the main controller in the car doesn't have to be continuously monitoring this motor and trying to decide what it needs to do. It can just basically turn it on and say run at medium speed and it doesn't have to think about it again. This, this will run itself by itself. So the, uh, the chip is basically a velocity controller, correct? That is correct, yes. Okay. Yes. And um, does it do any position controlling if you have to have it do that? It is actually BLDC, so brushless DC motor. So it determines the, the position of the rotors based on the feedback from the drive circuit. Uh, um, it's not like a stepper motor where you know exactly where it is, but you, know, you do know what it's rotating, what the rotating speed is, and which direction it's rotating. So you could do some primitive position control if you had to. Yes, yes. Awesome. Um, you've got a few other components on the demo board there. Can you tell us about what else you need to add to that chip to get a complete uh, motor drive circuit? Well, obviously you need some power regulation because uh, it, it's not going to have the full power regulation to be able to work off everything that automotive wants it to work off, which would be 8 to, eight to 42 volts. Um, so it does have some regulation on, on, that, on that board. Um, and then the chip, the chip doesn't have the drivers, so on the board you've also got some MOSFETs. And they're sized depending on the size of the motor that it's driving. Great. Well, that's an interesting uh, demonstration, Steve. Thanks for Thank uh, you. taking us through.